this belief was working against me. So I'm so driven. I kept pushing forward to making it happen. But when you push against inner resistance from your subconscious mind, it just drains your energy. It drains you and it drains you. And that's something super important also to remember. You won't create what you want in life. You're going to create what you believe. You won't create what you want in life. You're going to create what you believe. So if you believe it's hopeless and helpless, no matter how hard you work, you're not going to get it. So I'm driven. I'm making all this happen, but I could feel it. And it was making these things nebulous. I was not able to make the right decision. So anyway, I did the heart freedom method on myself. And I was like, ah, oh, goodness, the relief, because I felt this, you know, it's like when you have the subconscious working against you, it's like this noise inside of you. It's like, ah, now it's like my soul, my mind, my heart, and my emotion, it's all in line. And I can know that I know that I know what to do now. It's not so hard anymore. We, I, I didn't, we didn't mention this, but there are three clues that you have a subconscious belief working against you. Number one, you know what needs to be done, but you're not doing it. The famous procrastination. The good news, it's not because you lack willpower. It's not because you're lazy. It's because for you, it's too dangerous to go after what you want. The second one is you do what needs to be done, but it uses, it uses a lot more energy, which was that story I just shared with you. And number three is you keep doing everything right, but you get the opposite results to what you want. And that one drives ambitious people crazy because you're so dedicated. You read all the books, you do all these things, but I can guarantee you, you can take 10,000 courses in practice management in career in finances in love and anything you can do all. And if subconsciously it's not good for you to get that, you're going to have a really hard time because your conscious mind, relatively speaking, is the size of a football and your subconscious mind that's there to keep you alive, the football field. Yeah. So imagine the difference. Who do you think is going to win? Yes. And I can tell you, like for me, I, I likened it to having a clog to drain. And the moment we moved that clog, it was like, whoosh, and everything just seemed to start moving. And it was an amazing feeling just energetically. For me, the feeling of the energy movement through my form is pivotal. And you get used to it. It's like a pain that you just kind of get used to living with. But the moment it's not there and you just feel it start to move, you're just it's like, yeah. wow. And yeah. things do just start flowing, just flowing. And you don't realize it until it's not there anymore. 